Irving police officers are ready for the school year to begin. They want to make sure drivers are taking notice of those school zones, and that's just the start. Officer Stephanie Straw is with us today with a lot of timely reminders. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Ed, we'll get to those school zones in a minute, but I want to talk to you first about your role. You're a school resource officer. Tell us about that job. What does that entail? So I'm their newest school resource officer, and at this moment, it's in telling us, making sure the school is secured, making sure the students are secured as well, feel welcomed. We're also inside the school greeting the students as they come in. We're mentors, we're teachers, sometimes even can be a counselor at times. All around good influence yes, on, yes. on campus, good to hear. And what advice would you give to parents and other caregivers at this time? What should they be telling their kids in advance of the school year? So as we begin the new school year, they want to make sure that their students know the routine to and from school. They want to make sure that they are aware of those individuals that they need to be walking to school with and maybe walking home with or riding home with as well. They want to make sure that they remember to teach them how to cross at the crosswalk, which is safer, right? And not in between vehicles that are not expecting pedestrians to walk in the middle of the roadway. Yeah, we talk about traffic, and I mentioned school zones. I think we all know to slow down. Those mm -hmm. flashing mm -hmm. lights are good yes. reminders. But sometimes there are questions about cell phone use. What are the rules on that? So with cell phone use and any held hand device, you want to make sure that you're not using those in the school zones because they're prohibited in the, throughout the state of Texas. You could be ticketed for those, or you could receive a fine for that as well, even be arrested on scene. What about if you see a stopped school bus with those red flashing lights? So you want to make sure that you stop behind the school bus. There is a difference. If there's a median that's splitting the roadway, the oncoming traffic can continue to drive, but the traffic that's behind the school bus needs to stop. If there's no median in place, then both the oncoming traffic and the traffic behind the school bus needs to stop. Important reminders, and you touched on this earlier, talking about tickets. So tell me a little bit more about this enforcement. Are officers going to be out over the next few days as school begins? Right. Officers will be riding through the school zone, so just make sure parents, drivers, that you're being careful and you're not caught with your cell phones or handheld devices. Alternatives for those would be speaking, talking on a speakerphone or Bluetooth or a similar device. Yeah, such important reminders because not only is it a new routine for drivers, it's a new routine for students. They might be running into traffic. Right. We want to be careful at this exactly. time of year. Yes. Officer Stephanie Straw, thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you. And a reminder that you can find out about other Irving Police Department initiatives on our IPD playlist at youtube.com slash the city of Irving.